you. Anyone would like to ask more questions? Alam ko marami kayong mga baon ngayon. Itanong na po natin yan. All right, there, there at the back, we have Hello. a question. Um, okay. Um, first off, okay, direct. Um, who actually thought about doing that kind of treatment to the uh, traders that we have to us today? Because hanggang ngayon po, I don't know the plot. It's it's all a mystery to me. Was that on purpose? Uh, can you tell us why? Because um, it was the yung pinalabas ano pa lang siya, teaser siya. So the the main goal was to tease. Yes. So parang to patikim lang ng kung ano yung magyayari sa movie. Tapos this week we're going to release a full trailer na mas maiintindihan na kung ano yung um, since the characters were uh, very mature, um, even for their age, um, actually, um, has there been a like, close resemblance to what your life was, Liza, or yours to Enrique? Um, as far as the characters were concerned. Um, I think in a way, nakaka-relate ako kay Christine kasi she's very idealistic um, pero marami din siyang parang fears and I think normal, I think that's what makes her human kasi lahat naman tayo um, we have big dreams, big plans for ourselves pero at the same time, we know what's practical we know kung ano lang kaya ang i-achieve so I think on that um, so actually it's a very very um uh, weird take of mind. I don't know how to sa character ko because of my best friend. Uh, so to buhay, he's like my brother. He I grew up with him, he lives right beside my house. Yung pangalan ko dito si Raf, yung pangalan naman niya Rafael. We call him people call him sa school Raf, pero I call him Bubo. Um Exactly, kung anong pinagdadaanan ng character niya, yun din yung um, pinagdaanan niya sa buhay. Sa relationship niya with his girlfriend tapos. So, as in, kung anong yung pathway niya, kung mga problema niya, mga pinagdadaanan niya with him, exactly, yun ang nangyari sa best friend ko. So, nung binabasa yung script sa akin, bro, parang ikaw to, bro. Tapos pangalan ko para. So, I think that's... Doon ako nakarelate. Hindi sa sa like, I didn't really experience anything like Raph. Pero because he was my best friend, so nagkakwento ako. Basta lahat ng problema, alam mo yung mga barakada. Ito, oh, dito ang problema ko ngayon. Tapos ganyan ko yan. It's been for like almost a year and a half na he's been going through it. Tapos yung girl niya na sa ibang bansa mo. So, doon talaga ako nakarelate. It's very weird kasi sabi ko bro, sobrang, sobrang sakto. Kasi like, I couldn't even believe it. So, yeah, medyo weird siya. Um, direct, um, is this pretty much true to life stories that you're, you've written, or is this like a character just Pure based on your life? Yeah. Or my inspiration? Um, uh, it's a parang general feeling of uh, going back to your youth. Because at one point or another in your adult life, you you feel like you you lost you lost your 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 idealism your your dreams that you had when you were young so parang it's a yun it's a parang character study on how how uh, adults feel about their life now are they happy are they if you, if you're successful is that what makes you happy what makes you really happy as a as an adult and there are some some locations to try naka naka which is of course obviously in UP. Yes. Um, what are the other locations that you shot? Um, we shot we shot in UP and in the National Museum. Mm -hmm. So, parang in sa Pilipinas yun yung major milieu milieu niya, National Museum and University of the Philippines in Diliman, and also basa Manila Manila area and then. So second half of the story, some significant scenes were shot in New York. So, ayun. So Manila and then 